Come on, swimming compies. Do some swimming. Wow, they swim really good. They're pretty fast. And for those ones back there, you guys are... So oh, wow. They jump right out of the water. Hoppity hop. Hey there, everybody. Mazion reporting for duty. And today, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to do a second attempt at this sign right here. Um, I didn't really change it very much, but I did make uh, two small improvements. Looks like I've got all the colors, so we're going to select it and let it go. Painting, painting, painting things. Oh, come on. You know you can paint things. All right. Wow. So, man, those colors don't really translate very good. I need to, to have a really good look at this. It asks to reduce the colors in the program, and that's the only way that you can get it to uh, match up with any colors in the game unless you specifically use your own coloring. But when you have something like my body right there and there are so many different varying shades of colors, you can't really get... Um, a perfect a perfect translation so it's best for you to make your own picture entirely and make sure that you use the colors and the hex codes from the arc die list in the wiki but that's what we've got so far um i'm not sure that i'm happy with it this is kind of off the screen this is also cut off there we might have to move each of those in maybe a little bit and then it's supposed to be white around that green circle and that I use the exact hex code for that as this cyan color, and it's not coming out the right. So we're going to keep keep hacking away at it. But for now, we're going to go over back to the base. And, oh, you know what? I've got tons and tons of paints on me. I need to put all the paint back in its home and all the charcoal and all of the other things. But we're going to go over. I think what we're going to do today is we're going to try to start to do our little compy army. So we're going to start uh, looking around the server for compies and we'll start taming them up. Uh, but in order to do so, I'm going to grab, I think we're going to grab Blackwing Face. Oh, man, this Pteranodon's way too fast. Got the, the movement speed on this guy up to 283%. And it makes for some really interesting um, <laughs> movement trying to get around places on the server. But... We're very far from home, and it's dark. Gamma up. No, that, that didn't do it. Gamma up. No, you go up, not down. All right, so my house is this way. We're going to go get on one of our Argentavis, start to try to get some compies, and start a little compy army. Start a little compy army. All right, so we'll be with you when we get back to the base. All right, so compies are significantly small, but I've been... Having good luck finding them over here near Poop City. Poop City's right over that tree line right there. And so what I'll do is I'll just land my bird down and then they'll start coming. But we need to, we don't want a bunch of really low level compies. We want high level compies, right? So I think that the most effective way to weed them out is to just keep grabbing them and kill them. I don't want a bunch of level four compies. It's not going to do me any good at all. Even level, oh, that's a Titan Mirror drone. Right. Level 16. We've got some bugs chasing after us here. Always a pain in the boot. There we go. A couple of Magneros down. And more compies. 24. So finding the kind of compy that we want might be a, a task. Level 64 compy. Uh, I think that's still a little bit too low for us. Come here, compy guy. Oh, 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 what level was that? 68. Still too low. So we've got most of them, I think. Come land. There's a compy. 76. Still too low. So this is kind of the process that I'm going to go through. Titan Mariners. Mirma. Man! Uh, so we recently turned the bugs back up on the server, and that means that we're going to have to deal with Meganeras and Titanomirmas a lot more often. Which is not all that big a deal, but it is going to interrupt some of the, some of the things that we're doing. 
or copies. So, like, these little plains areas ne near the beaches seem to be pretty good. But they also need to show up. There's a copy. What level are you? 28. Not good enough. Look, more bugs. I have to be dealing with bugs all the time now. This copy is really going at these. And it's only level 12. Piles of copies everywhere. Oh, kill the dialogues, I guess. Anyway, once we get a copy worthy of our needs, I'll be back with you. So I found my first copy. It's level 104, and we're going to bring it back to the taming bin. So, again, just by the beach on this grassy area is where I found it. And what I did to locate them was I would just go and land. Because copies will become interested in anything that's around, uh, like, a player. Just kind of kind of like an ichthyosaurus. Just come right up to you and stand there. But once they're in numbers, they'll start to attack. So, I just went over and sat there. And a few came over. And I just kind of weeded them out until I had one. But we're going to use uh, one of our taming bins. You know, I kind of I kind of want to have a new taming bin somewhere in the warm area near my base. Oh, look at that. A Quetzal. I'm going to have to go see what level this Quetzal is real quick. Hey there, Quetzal guy. Going to check your level right now. All right, let's check him out. He's a beautiful bird. What level are you? 16. Not good enough. So I'm I'm having a conundrum between trying to put it over where I do like my giant mating and when I say giant mating, I mean that that four behemoth gate enclosure I have over here, or bringing it over there to the taming box. I think what I'm going to do is bring it to the taming box because that has the platform for me to stand on. Um, now I'll probably just tame up this copy right away. So that we can have a look at how long it takes to get it down. You guys probably know all kinds of stuff about copies already, but I haven't really played with them that much. Uh, I can't I can't imagine it would take a lot of darts. We've got uh, only 10 on us right now. We need to go make some at the base. But out of the 10 that we have, I don't think it should take very many to bring down this copy. So we've got the copy in the bin. i look around, make sure nothing's going to kill Blackwing Face. All right, so we're good. We've got 10 darts. And we're going to take this copy down. What's up, copy? Oh, that's that's going to be... Oh, that's that's wonderfully... Uh, we're going to have to do it down in here with the copy. What's up? Oh, one dart. Level 104 copy. Unconscious. Very low torpor. Uh, we're going to need some prime meats. I don't have any on me. All right. Blackwing face, come here. You going to prime meat on you, buddy? No, no prime meat on Blackwing Face either. We must go out and get some prime. All right, so we made it back to the taming bin with, you know what? I just noticed I turned up my gamma during the live stream, and I didn't turn it back down. So we've had, like, some super amount of gamma this whole time, folks. We're going to turn that back down for you. That should be a little bit more acceptable for brightness. Oh, look, the copy's up already. So you need to be prepared. So being unprepared... Is bad. You need meat in, in advance. Man, that torpor drops really, really fast. So let's go for Blackwing Face and let's drop some meat off of him, some of the prime. Three, four, five. I think that'll be good. Where to go? There you are. Grab it all up. Get back in that cage with this compy. Hey, what's up, compy guy? Bam! You're down. Sweet. Now provide the meat. And it's all tamed up. Level 104. No problem at all. Very easy. Um, Thing one. That's your name. Copy thing one. All right. So we've got one copy already. Still got a dart in its face. We're going to bring it back to the base. And we're going to start... Hello, excuse me. Can you come out the door, copy guy? Nice. 
We're going to start gathering up a bunch of copies and we're going to put them all in the taming bin and tame them all at once. And we know now just to go out and get a bunch of prime meat ahead of time. Uh, that way we don't have them wake up. Now, I think it might make it difficult to do multiples at the same time with the amount of torpor that drops. And it seems like they do need um, three or four meat at level 104 or so. But we're going to want to tame at least like eight or nine of these. And then we'll see what they have for to offer for power. All right, so I went out and looked for more copies, and I found 96, and I dropped it in here. And I've decided that I'm going to have to lower my standards because, unfortunately, it takes... Let's see, what do we got on these? I'm going to have to... Unfortunately, there are tons and tons of copies, but trying to find ones that are only high level, I think, is is a task that's going to be better suited uh, to a longer period of time rather than... Oh, today I'm going to go out and find eight level 100 plus copies. Just not going to happen. Uh, a lot of level eights, a lot of level sixes, a lot of in the, in between the range of 60 and 70. So I think what we're going for right now is about 70 plus. Um, so same deal here. We're going to have to get some prime meat ready before we down the 96. And then we're going to go out and we're going to try to find some more. Um, I, as you probably can notice on my bar, I didn't get more darts. And so that's kind of a problem. Uh, unless it takes one per, in which case, it's not a problem at all. But, we do need some more Prime. I've got some Prime. We had some other ones on there with, with lower timers already. So I'm going to finish gathering up some Prime. Then we're going to shoot it, bait it, name it, and then bring it back to the base. And then we'll, we're will we going to be a little less picky uh, from here on out. Look, an Albino Rex. What level are you? 16? Die! Look at that nice black stripe on the back, though. It's too bad. So we should have a sufficient amount of prime meats. I'm gonna drop him off his uh, inventory because the timers will last longer that way, the way we have them set up on the server. If you drop them directly off bird's inventory, it doesn't give them the diminishing effect as if you were to transfer them from one inventory to another. <laughs> Tongue tied today. All right, so let's go through one of these side doors here. Hey there, copy guy. What's up? Stop moving. Good. Throw this prime on there. All of it. Just put it all on there. Man, this torpor goes down fast. One eating is about half. Torpor is still dropping. And we could... What? One, two, three. Beat it three. Torpor is going to go back up just a little bit, and then we're going to tame it up. Oh, look at that. It's already tamed to Maz Thing 2. So this one's name is Thing 2. We're going to get Blackwing Face, carry it back to the base, and then we're going to continue to just grab stuff, 70 plus, get ourselves a little army so that we can test it out in the field. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of luck. I found a 112. So, well, I got a lot of fertilizer on me. Apparently, I apparently I took a break to pick up some poop, but I forgot about it, left it all in my inventory. So anyway, so I got uh, this one down. So that's going to take two feedings, and it's going to be up. Uh, do I still have... Oh, look, I don't have any... You better eat quick. I didn't bring any narcotic. Hopefully... The taming goes up faster than the unconscious goes down. I think it's going to. Anyway, so we've got a few that are pretty high level. Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to continue to have this luck. So I think for the next five... Ah, that's the name of the name of the animal. Ah, thing three. We're going beyond thing one and thing two with this group. And we've got thing three. And uh, so I think with the next five, I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to be a little picky, but not too, too picky. So let's get the rest of them and then we can do some, some uh, training action with the, the lot of them. Thing four came to level 80, tamed out at level 119. Thing five was level 44 and tamed out at 65. All right, thing six was level 76 and tamed out at 113. Thing seven 
it was level 68 and tamed out at 101. Thing 8. Started off at 92. And ended up at 137. And last but not least, Thing 9 was level 96 and tamed out at 143. So now we've got 9 of these, so we'll get the plus 8 multiplier or whatever you would like to call it on on uh the copies so we're gonna take thing nine back over to the base we're gonna take the copies out and we're gonna have them attack a few things see how they perform we'll start easy with something like a turtle or a parasaur and then we'll move our way up um i expect that a few copies will be harmed in the making of this video so do not fret but i'll be right with you all right so here we are with the copy posse we're gonna make them all follow every single one of them looks like some of them have levels up already you all following where are the ones with the levels you've got a level well let's put it in health that seems like a safe bet how about you health as well sure you no all right so we've got all of our things all of our things we're gonna go out the main gate here and see what we can find Oh, they're, they're all stoked and ready to make things happen. And mate boosted with plus eights on them. There's dummy and doofus. Oh, look. Oh, we don't even have a choice. We're going to get right on to the saber tooth right away. You go. 112 saber tooth already down. Look at that. Wow. That was a good test. So we've already killed a 112 saber tooth. We're going to continue to train these guys on whatever things that we can find in the wild. All right, another saber tooth. Whoa, multiple saber teeth. Kill this other saber tooth, please. It's hurting me. Thank you. And there was this palm of a scorpius over here. Man, there's too many things in the base that are on aggressive. All right now, kill this, please. Please kill it quickly. Ah, ah, now this one. Wow. What? Another saber tooth? A mate boosted one. Can you copies kill these things, please? They hurt me. I'm gonna lose my armor this this round, aren't I? Come on, copies. Oh, we're gonna have to disable victim item collection, aren't we? We're gonna need to do that right after this. Wow. Copies kill that. Thank you. All right, so we're going to disable victim item collection of these guys because they're going to get weighted down pretty fast, and then we'll be back. Looks like everything, absolutely everything in my base is somehow on neutral. So we're going to have to fix that too. All right, copies versus a tank. Turtle tank versus cop. No, oh, kill it. No, I said kill it. Why won't they kill it? I'm supremely confused. Do they not attack turtles? Oh, okay. Now they decided it was okay to attack. Okay, I gotcha. I don't understand what just happened, but it did happen. So now I think, man, I mean, they kill saber tooths, they kill turtles, they kill Pulmona Scorpius. I think we need to find some bigger prey to test them on. I mean, some of them might die, but I mean, what what are you what are you gonna do? Maybe maybe a wreck somewhere? Let's go into the snow biome and see what we can make happen. Copies versus a raptor. Ow, oh, it hurts. It's kind of, these are kind of like dimorphodons on the ground. They just demolish things and then make them, you know, petrified and then they just disappear. Kind of what happens. Man, it's really cold here today. Maybe this Argentavis. Hey, come on, Argentavis guy. What? You don't like it now? Never mind. Whatever. Let's find a Rex. Hey, look at Rex. Come on, copies. Let's, let's attack this Rex, guys. It's time to do Rex action. What level is it? 16. That's a good test for the first time. Let's go, copies. Let's kill this Rex, please. We got all, all of you here. I've only got plus seven. Why do I only have plus seven? We're missing a copy. Come up here, copy thing. Thing three. 
We need all of you copies to make magic. Is it right? Okay, we got plus eight. Come around this way, copies. We're gonna go kill a Rex. Or I'm gonna die. Or both. It's cold. We got all eight copies? Yeah, we got all eight copies. Let's go! Or nine. There's nine of them. But it makes that nice plus eight number. Why can't that, that Rex kill that? There it goes. All right, let's kill it. Copies. Go kill the Rex. Level 16, Rex. They're chomping. They're biting its feet. Oh, no. It's after me. No, you can't be after me, Rex. Copies must kill you. So it looks like it's taking him a little bit to take down that Rex. And I'm told. Oh, wait, they got it. Yay, copies versus Rex, copies win. Except for that the Rex didn't even pay him any attention at all. But yeah, for now, I gotta get out of the snow biome. It is too, too cold. Maybe we should try killing an Anki first. Copies versus an Anki. Go kill the Anki, copies. Look at him go. What level's that Anki? He's got a friend and he's mate boosted. Oh, that, that Anki's gonna try to kill you guys. You should you totally destroy it. That one's just level 16. Man, it seems to do better against, uh, against Sabertooths and, and Raptors than it does against Ankies and Rexes. But it's still, they still were the victors. When it came down to it. So these guys are pretty powerful in a group. And I'm pretty dead if I don't get out of here. Scorpion! No, they're not close enough to take the whistle command. Oh, kill the scorpion. All of the copies. Okay, it's dead. But yeah, scorpion, I mean, nothing really standed a chance. They, they just destroyed completely everything. So I'd say that these are good in a pack. They uh, they do a job, and I think that if we had a bunch of 120s or like really high level ones, which we do have a few that are over 192, 96 area, so they are pretty amazing. But um, yeah, I think that they did a really really good job. I am impressed. Are you impressed? If you're impressed. Let me know in the comments below. We're missing a copy. All right, so I'm gonna get all the copies back to the base. You guys want to have one last go at it? All right, I understand. Oh, only level four. Too bad for you. Now, one thing I was curious about, how do copies swim? Are they good swimmers? Are there any mega piranhas in here? I don't see I don't see any mega piranhas. Come on, swimming copies. Do some swimming. Wow, they swim really good. They're pretty fast. And for those ones back there, you guys are, oh wow. They jump right out of the water. Hoppity hop. I am low. There's Dummy and, and Doofus. So we're going to go in the store. And we have to find a place for all the copies at our base. Where are they going to hang out? I don't know. We might have to get them a little pen or something. A little copy pen. I think for now, might stick them over here with the wolves. They can just hang out with the wolf pack. And we'll probably put them on passive uh, for the time being, which I need to revamp what everything's doing in this place anyway come into the corner copies you're gonna stop before you get no that's perfect perfect all right so copies all chilling out on passive i'm gonna take some time and uh put some certain things on passive and certain things on neutrals so the gamma up gamma was up but anyway that's it for today's episode folks we had a really good time with those copies. They seem pretty powerful. Um, they're definitely cool to have around. They might be good base defense at some point. Uh, maybe have them travel in a group all following one or something like that. But we'll find a place for them in the barn, I think, when the barn is all complete. So if you liked today's episode, please press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you have anything to say, do it in the comments below. And as always, be excellent to each other, folks. Have a great day. See you later.